All right, guys, we're out here at the airport and uh, welcome back to another video. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit today, kind of do a little more of a tutorial style. So sometimes I get questions about my audio setup and my camera setup in the airplane. And more importantly than that, when I watch YouTube videos and I watch a lot of like pilot vlogs, things like that, the main thing, obviously content is key, but the second thing is good audio. Um, I never remember the resolution of somebody's video, 4K, 1080p, 2.7, I never remember that. But if the audio is bad, I cannot watch the video. It makes it terrible. So I think my audio is pretty good. I'm gonna show you guys what I do to get that audio. And um, if you guys have a better way or some, some, some suggestions something like that, put it in the comments because I'm always looking to grow and I don't know many people that vlog personally, so I don't really get that kind of feedback. So if you guys do it and you have a better way, put it down in the comments. All right, so as I see it, there's two main things. You need obviously equipment to record the audio and then there is post, so editing the audio later on. And um, I do both of those things. So the first thing is my equipment. <laughs> All right, guys, there is nothing special in this box. Um, this is just my like quick grab camera box, so, so I don't have to bring my entire flight or my entire camera bag when I come with me, but I use a 360 cam on the wing or wherever I want it, I use that. Um, I have a cheap old, just it's just called the GoPro Hero. I think I got this off like Craigslist for 30 bucks, but I put this on the outside of the um, plane, either on the wing or I'll throw it on the tail back here, something like that. So I don't record audio with that. Um, I have a GoPro Hero 8 Black. So this is my main vlogging camera. I use this for the paramotor. I do record audio on this from the paramotor, um, but you need an $80 little dongle for that. So um, I have them, but it's installed in my paramotor helmet. So I, this is my face cam in the cockpit, but I don't use this for audio. This is an old school Hero 4 Black um, with the touch screen. So the Hero 4 didn't always come with that, but this is what I record my audio on. And let me show you why. Okay, so you need a way to plug into the camera. And like I mentioned with the Hero 8, and I don't know what it is, the Hero 9 and 10, I think you need some other accessory, but it's not cheap. They're like 80 to 100 bucks, something like that. Um, with the Hero 4 and all the cameras preceding it, all you needed was this little thing here on the end of this um, cable here. I can't get it off. Oh, there it goes. It's just a 3.5 millimeter to USB mini not micro, USB mini adapter. And I'll have links to everything that I'm showing you guys here in the description if you guys want. But this is all you need to get audio out of the Hero 4. So it's it's a cheap way. I think this is like five or six bucks, maybe cheaper. And um, it's really easy to hook up and you get good audio out of that camera. Um, so that's, that's why I use the Hero 4. All right, the next thing you need in the cockpit is your cable set. So first you have this little splitter here. Um, and it is just, I forget the diameter, I'll overlay it on the screen, but this is just the same diameter as what you have in your general aviation plug. So for your headset, same thing. Um, and it is a splitter. So what you do is you will take the end here and slide that directly into your, if I can do it, headphone jack. So like that, you follow it all the way down. One side, your headphones go into from your headset and the other side, you plug in this. So you have the headset diameter um, to 3.5 millimeter adapter cable. And it's just a long cable so I can reach back to whatever camera I need it on. Um, and you plug it in like so. And then for the other side, you just grab, sorry guys, I'm doing this with one hand. You grab your little adapter and you plug those in. So like that. And then USB mini goes directly into your Hero 4 camera there on the bottom like that and that is that easy you don't need to do anything else you plug it in and then mount this wherever you want and then you have audio recorded um, from your cockpit onto your camera um, and then obviously when I do my face cam and everything else I just sync up the cameras and post and the editing and um, use just the audio for this or if I want you know exterior audio I'll overlay that whatever it is but that's that's the basic setup for the camera <laughs> All right, guys, well, welcome to the cockpit. We are all set up here in cruise. I'm actually on my way to North Carolina today to get a, a prop hub inspection done per 118 contact Florence approach 118.6. Florida 118.6, 118 Whiskey, see you. Florida 118 I love the guys at Shaw Approach, man. Approach, good morning, Booty 2711 Whiskey, 7500. 2711 Whiskey, Florence Perch, Florence Altimeter 3028. 3028, one on the ski. All right, so, come on now. All right, we are all set up in cruise here. On our way to North Carolina to get the Prop Hub AD done. 
Got our audio cables all set up, as you guys saw um, from the last uh, section of the video. And this is what it sounds like unedited. So this is just raw audio out of the plane. What you're hearing right now, I have not edited at all. This is what it sounds like. As you can see, we're getting feedback. You got that like humming noise. And here's what it sounds like after it's been edited. So you can see right now, it's much cleaner. You don't have all that feedback. Um, I've I've got the peaks down. I gave it a little bit of boost where it needed a boost. So that's it for the cockpit section of this. Let's jump back into my office. Okay, guys. So first off, um, the program that I'm using here is Adobe Premiere Pro. If you guys use a different software to edit with, um, yours will be obviously different, but the process will be the same. So first thing I do is you come in here and listen to this clip. We're going to use this clip, so let's listen to this. So this is just raw audio out of the plane. What you're hearing right now, I have not edited at all. This is what it sounds like. Okay, so hear that nasty humming sound? That's the first thing we need to get rid of. So you can see that that sound is on the left side track here. So um, you can see the right side is nice and clean, left is dirty. So first thing we need to do is get rid of this left and fill the left with right. So there's actually a, in the effects panel here, there's a fill left with right option. You just click and drag that over here, drop it on, and you can see it comes in your effects control panel here. Um, there's nothing else you need to do. Listen now. Audio out of the plane, what you're hearing right now, I have not edited at all. This is what it sounds like. So you can see now it is dead silent. We've got rid of that left tri that left side, and the right side's clean. So let's toggle it on and off so you can hear the difference. Like. Okay, so that's the main thing. The next thing I'll do, and the last thing I'll do, is grab dynamics out of my effects uh, panel here, drop that, and then come in, click edit, and I will compress and limit my audio. So what this does is allows you to give a little bit of a boost, so let's say like five decibels, something like that. If your audio is a little bit quiet in some areas and louder in the others, um, it'll give the lower the lower bits a little bit of a boost, and then you can limit that and make sure that you don't um, peak out your, your louder sections of your audio, and I like to go to about negative three decibels is my go-to. Um, and also on the right here, I'm targeting negative six decibels throughout the entire video. So negative six decibels seems to be pretty good. The audio comes out not distorted and it, um, it plays back well on phones, computers, so on and so forth. So after dynamics, let's see what that sounds. It sounds like unedited. So this is just raw audio out of the plane. What you're hearing right now, I have not edited at all. This is what it sounds like. And so that's it, guys. That's, that's the main process. Obviously, you can do a lot more than this. You can export the audio into... Um, uh, Adobe Audition and go nuts with it, but this is enough for me. This has worked for me, um, and yeah, that's my trick. So hope hope this one helps you guys. Uh, if you like this kind of video, let me know in the comments below, please, and don't forget to like, subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to. All that jazz, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. All right. For my own notes, I turned on the audio cam first, waiting for this camera to boot up, and it might not. Might be frozen. Or record. Alright guys, well welcome to the cockpit.